Good morning. We're here at uh, Nature's Kennel in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan near Newberry and uh, we're going to take some dog sleds overnight into the woods to spend the night and then to come back. So it should be fun, huh Poppins? I think so. Chuck got me all sorts of good gear so I'm all set. Poppins is going to keep me emotionally stable through this trying adventure. <laughs> but my name's Chuck. I'm Poppins. The channel's Restless Viking. Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> So uh, we're here and we met up with our guide, Elizabeth. Hello, guys. And uh, <laughs> we are heading out to uh, to the Mushers Village um, with our sled team. We're about to go meet the uh, the puppies. Yeah. And uh, Poppins is probably going to be convinced that we need another dog. But yep. now I'm on the opposite side of the fence. We don't need a dog anymore. <laughs> so, uh, Elizabeth, you've been doing yeah. this about three years? About three years, yeah. So this is my third season up here. Spent the summer, last summer, in Alaska. Um, and a lot of these dogs I've worked with the last three years, they're just the best. The bond you create with them is, it's so unique. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. Excellent. Well, let's go meet the boys and Absolutely. girls. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. The way the yard's organized, we have the main aisle down the middle and then three kennels on either side. So you can see each row of those double barrels. That's one kennel. Um, and everybody in the red coats works and lives on site, and then we're each assigned a kennel. You feed them, water them, take care of them, run tours with them, and you get to know their personalities and their likes and their dislikes really well. The dogs are gonna go, you know, pedal to the metal. They're gonna be super fast leaving. It's when they're the most excited. So gonna put a good bit of pressure on that drag pad. To fully stop your sled, put two feet on your bar brake here, swish it into the snow and it'll stop your team. This guy is called your snub line and quick release. Um, and this is what ensures the dogs go on a tour with us and not without us. <laughs> excitement so much energy and emotions there sometimes like hinge he'll go on the wrong side of the line and then he's so mad that he's on the wrong side and it's like buddy you put yourself there that is not that other dog's problem <laughs> What's the matter, guy? What's the matter? Yeah? So, taking a little break. Uh, how, how far do you think we are? They definitely love to run. And they get pretty upset when we stop and they don't get to run.
This team's working pretty hard. <laughs> How you doing, Poppins? <laughs> Poppins just finished her shift as a musher. Hopefully I got some good footage of her and then we are on our way back up to uh, camp. It should be just a few minutes. Ball tree here on the left. He keeps checking on me sometimes. He keeps looking at me like, you know what you're doing? So how you guys like your job? Ball tree. So we're just relaxing, waiting to uh, get to the uh, Mushers Village for a little, uh, little overnight, little afternoon nap session, I guess for us. Uh, the boys uh, and gals here, I think they might all be boys though. They're, uh, they're just, they know the deal. Hi, buddy. Mushers Village. Mushers Village. And we're trying to decide whether we want a cabin or a yurt. So Elizabeth is starting a stove because I couldn't. So. <laughs> That's rare. That's too. <laughs> oh, I get to do my favorite girl straw. Is that an acceptable man? the mini meat freezer. The mini meat freezer. <laughs> For the dogs. <laughs> One bucket of food will feed 14 dogs. Since we don't have 14 dogs out here, we won't need a totally full bucket. But we'll use it. Have you do this. Um, break this. Just break it in the chunks? Yeah, you know? so you can kind of break it on the hat or break it on the corner, okay. break it in half, and then you can kind of make oh. it into eighths. As small of pieces as you can get. We'll be putting it in hot water, so. Little hole gets the most excited. He does, yeah. He's my little lover boy. Yeah. Then we'll really smell the poopers. Dogs. We don't want animosity. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the dogs from here, but they're starting to whimper. Is this what you feed them in the morning too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing. The frozen chunks of meat separately so that we can control um, how much dog or how much meat each dog gets. So some dogs need a bit more meat because they need to hold on weight a little more. Um, and some dogs hold on to fat like no other. And so they get a little less meat because otherwise they will balloon up on us and they look at very chunky. I would have been a less meat dog. <laughs> <laughs> after Mac, Roni, and Cheese. So there were four dogs, Mac, Roni, they have a sister named Anne, and then a brother named Cheese. And that is my favorite litter theme. I think it's so creative. Um, you just go down and get everyone Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. There's rules, Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> He'll start barking right in their face. And he's like, come on guys, like you gotta pull. If I'm pulling, you're pulling. Even he'll catch dogs, like if they're in front of him or behind him that aren't pulling, he'll turn around and like bark at them. He knows, I'm like, <laughs> how do you know that? Thing, but if I run them with a good leader, they they do so well and I'm so, I get so proud of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, I knew you guys could do it. Like, <laughs> look at you, you're a lead. 
So it's about eight o'clock at night and uh, we're gonna go give the uh, the dogs another layer of straw for the night and uh, then we can hit the hay. You like straw? Makes everything comfy? There you go. You like those straws? Huge fan of straws. Oh, you'll get some straw. You don't need to paw it away from him. Who's <laughs> upset? I think that's the one that enjoys straw a lot. Oh, yeah, Han, the little one. There, he loves straw. 9.30 tonight in the dark cabin. Poppins is upstairs in the loft and she is, uh, she's going to sleep and uh, I'm just kind of goofing around where it's a little cooler downstairs, but uh, we'll feed the dogs tomorrow and then head out for our trip back. Time to do a little housekeeping and then uh, we'll go back out to the dog yard, hook the dogs up and then head home or head back to the, the kennel. Do you have fun Poppins so far? Yes. Poppins is driving most of the way home. Yes. <sighs> wow, I look like Yukon Cornelius. The greatest prospector of the north. <laughs> I think they're ready to go. <laughs> About to go. It's always a raucous start when you first get started. <laughs> it's amazing how much power these guys have. It is a beautiful day today. Dasher. Yeah, I think it's not very good. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job, Badger. Good job, Cyrus. Daltry, good job. Blowhole. Poppins. Hey, that was awesome. How exhilarating. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, that was the perfect stopping spot right next to this post. Like a pro. She is a pro. Yep. Yeah. I pro. just pretend. Pro Mushroom Martha. <laughs> I love so I'll let them know where they live and they'll hop on their house for you. I'll take Blowhole home. Uh, Badger and Cyrus. Badger lives there and Cyrus has two houses up. Okay, I'll take Badger. I got the power of the dogs in me. So uh, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, we had fun, Jeff, on Poppins? Yes. So uh, we'd recommend Nature's Kennel, north of McMillan, Michigan for a dog sledding adventure. Um, I'm not one for guided tours, but that was that, they, they, they do a great job. Yeah. So thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, thanks. I'm Chuck. I'm Poppins. The channel's Restless Viking from the snowy UP of Michigan. Until our next adventure. <laughs>